हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ माय चैनल आई एम किशोर आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो एज यू ऑल नो दैट गेट आंसर की इज आउट एंड आई होप बाय नाउ यू ऑल यू नो नो हाउ मच यू आर स्कोरिंग इन गेट 2022 पेपर एंड यू विल हैव अ रफ आईडिया दैट व्हाट विल बी योर एक्सपेक्टेड रैंक एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट यू यू विल हैव अ आईडिया दैट व्हेदर योर एग्जाम वाज गुड और बैड and specifically for those people who are you know who are not doing well uh, or not doing well in the gate 22 this video is you, uh, for you uh, because last uh, few days i am getting a lot of messages from people uh, who are not able to do good in gate 2022 and they are asking me that what they should do now uh, because they they won't be getting a good rank uh, this year and now what they should do and th- there are various categories of students who are reaching out to me like few are in final year students few students who is pinging me there now in the final year now they are asking what they should do now and there are few 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 people you know who are currently working maybe and they are thinking whether they should you know drop a year and prepare fully and then appear for the gate 2023 and there are few people who have already you know left their job maybe last year they have left their job quitted their job and they have prepared for the gate 2022 but you know they are not able to Uh, crack it this year then they are also you know they are also thinking what the, what they should do now so in this video i am going to address all these three you know cases three category of students and if they are not getting good score get this year what they should do next that i am going to discuss in this particular video so please do watch the video till end and before starting the video as i always say if you are new to this particular channel and you are watching this watching this channel i used to make videos regarding iisc iits gate isro phd related to these things so if you are interested on these topics please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly now without further ado let's get started with today's video now first i'll discuss about those students or those those aspirants who are currently in their final year of their btech and they couldn't do well uh, in this particular gate exam that is gate 2022 now what they should do now now see you you are probably the, in the safest position among the other categories because you are currently in your final year and you will be finishing your btech around july right so after july there will be around 6 7 months left for uh, for get 2023 so you have both the choices i mean either what you can do is you can join your job that you are getting after your btech you can join the job and prepare for the uh, gate exam with job because as i understand that immediately after passing out from your college you won't be getting the job there will be some some lag period like some uh, kind of cool down period you can say or some some months gap will be there so what you can do is you can prepare fully for those 2 3 months gap that you will be getting after your btech or maybe even now also like in the final semester there won't be that pressure so what you can do is this uh, this times like from march to july and even after july also till you are getting your job you can prepare fully and then you can join the job uh, whenever the, you are getting the offer letter because initially when you are joining the job there won't be there won't be that much pressure because the training will be going on then you will join a project and even after join the projects also there there won't be that much pressure uh, immediately so in in your case you can be do anything i mean you can take a drop also from july till next uh, 2023 gate or maybe you can join the Uh, you know any and uh, join the company also and prepare so i think in your case it's pretty easy whatever you feel you should do uh, you can do if you are someone who has some financial problem i'll strongly recommend you that you should join the job you shouldn't rely on gate 2023 because you don't know what will happen next year also but otherwise you can do any of the choices you can join the company also or maybe you can take a 6 months gap like from uh, from 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 the btech end till gate 2022 you can you can you can have a have a break prepare for the gate exam and then after 2023 if it, if it doesn't uh, you know go well then you can you can go for a job now coming back to the next category if you are someone who is currently working and you have appeared for gate 2022 while you are preparing with your job and you haven't done that great in gate 2022 maybe you are not getting that much good score and now you are thinking that you will be resigning your job and prepare full year like you will be taking a drop of one year preparing fully and then you will be appearing for gate 2023 it's a great idea i, I will obviously say i mean obviously you can you can try that but i will suggest you that you know you should think twice before leaving your job because i always uh, believe that you should have some backup ready while you are appearing for any competitive exam specifically a exam like gate 
where the failure rate is too high. I mean, I hope you understand by now that uh, the percentage of people who fail to get into IIT is larger than the percentage of people who mix it uh, to IIT. So the failure rate is too high and there are some parameters are there that, you know, that makes the gate uncertain because there are uh, some parameters like how the question will come on the on the gate exam, how your three hours like the exam exam timing those uh, those that day exam day how those three hours will go how you'll be able to manage those three hours that pressure and some some kind of you know kind of unpredictable situations like this year covid makes the whole scenario so much complicated so all of these things is beyond your control i mean you can prepare very well but you know you can't control how you'll be you know how you'll be handling the pressure of those three hours so gate is an uncertain exam as i'm always saying and my my what i'm trying to say is that suppose if you can't make it make it next year also what you will be doing so that thing you have to pre-plan like I personally i can say you that when i was leaving my job i had a gate rank in hand like around 600 700 rank so that was kind of a backup for me that with that rank at least i'll be going to some nit and do my mtech if i can't crack it next year so that's why i'm saying that if you are planning to leaving your job that's a good idea i mean each, um, and i mean i mean i will obviously you know kind of give you a positive um, vibe or congratulations that you are so much passionate about gate that is good but you have to be realistic also like like next year if you can't make it uh, to your kind of dream rank then what you will do so that thing you should think i mean before leaving your job and before thinking that i'll be taking a year drop and preparing for gate please uh, you know plan it plan your backup ready that if i can't get it uh, can't make it to to my desired rank then what i will be doing so please keep this into into your mind if you are thinking of uh, leaving your job and preparing for the uh, gate exam finally the third category where people have you know take a drop for a year they have left their job they have prepare for one full year and you you are not able to do good good score in the gate 2022 i think this is the category of uh, students who are in the most kind of insecure and dangerous position like they are now clueless what they should do because they have taken a drop for uh, kind of one year so there is a one year gap you are not you know you are not earning anything uh, you don't have any job and you 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 think that you will be able to make it to kind of a good rank this year but you are not able to do that then what you should do i personally suggest that if you are able to do at least near to 1000 rank then you can think of dropping one more year but if your score is or get rank is not around 1000 or maybe uh, kind of 900 to 1200 in this range it is if it is beyond that like beyond 1500 or beyond 2000 or maybe if you are not able to get at least 35 to 40 marks even in the out of 100 then i think you should you should look for a job because i have seen many cases where people have tried gate for three three years four years without having a job kind of dropping for three four years preparing continuously for gate and at the end of fourth year when they are not able to crack the gate now they are thinking what they should do and that is really a serious situation in nowadays where there is a huge scarcity of job uh, you know job vacancies around 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 our country so that's why i'm saying if your rank is not that good uh, if you are not at all close to 1000 rank uh, or maybe you are not getting at least around 50 50 marks odd marks uh, in the in the gate exam so i think you should look for a job i mean please go and you know search for the job uh, wh wh whichever stream you have please search for the job uh, through online portals and all and try to have a job first uh, and then try to prepare for the for the gate exam uh, parallelly because you already have prepared one year fully so you have the idea how to you know what are the resources and all so i hope now it will be uh, kind of easier for you to follow the whole process again so that's why if you are someone uh, who, who who have already taken a uh, break of one year and you are not getting a good score this year please try to find uh, find a job as soon as possible yeah so that's it about the, this video so these are the kind of messages i have received from many people and they um, on the high level they come from briefly from these three categories so that's why i make the video for these three categories 
if you are someone who has some other issues uh, who are not coming from these three categories so please let me know in the comment i will i'll, I'll try to answer you what you should do but broadly this is the case uh, i am say, making this video because personally i have also gone through this uh, this period where i was trying for gate i was not able to crack it and i i understood how it feels you know when you prepare for so long uh, for a whole year and you are not able to crack the gate exam so and i think uh, i mean as i always say i mean gate is an uncertain exam and the failure rate is too high so it's quite natural that you know many people will be failing gate this year also that's okay i mean you have to take your decision you have to take your decision based on your financial and uh, condition and family situation that also you have to keep in keep into your mind so please take a decision accordingly and take the next decision that what you should do uh, going forward based on whatever your situation is so that's it guys that's it about today's video i hope you like the video and if you have liked the video please like it and share this video with many people so that they also get to know about it and if you are new to this particular channel and you are watching this watching this channel i used to make videos regarding iisc iits gate isro phd related to these things so if you are interested on these topics please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly so that's it about today's video i'll be meeting in the next video until then bye